I don't know if I have the courage to actually have anyone ever see this tape. But... I know that every morning you go thumbing through the person who won't answer. Ladies and gentlemen, Michelle Wright. Hey, this is Taylor Swift. Shelly Wright packed the house. It's the greatest night of my life. I love you. I hope you get the message that there's a single white female. Country music embraces that God family conservative politics and represents that core working class white America. A sodomite is a sodomite. I will not spend my money on music that is in direct opposition to the Bible. Stay in your closet, please. I've often said there's nobody quite as mean as people being mean for Jesus. I have a gun. I own a gun. And I looked at it, and I put the gun in my mouth. Had you told me 21 years ago I was going to film the Oprah Winfrey show to be talking about my career and a lifetime of hiding being gay, I would have told you to shut up and drive. Some other entertainers are joining forces to give a voice and be a beacon of hope to the LGBT community in Kansas City. The woman spearheading a new community center in that city is acclaimed songwriter and performer, LGBT activist, my friend, country singer, Shelly Wright. It's great to have you here, Shelly. Thanks for being here. It's great to be with you. Thanks for having me. And we have back. such good stuff to talk about. Obviously, we, we are uh, talking about the Like Me Center that you're opening in Kansas City, Missouri, that is a yeah. beacon of light to at-risk LGBT youth. Explain how this all came about. I came out and I started to understand um, what community meant because I was all of a sudden identifying with my community. When you're out and open, you are able to do that, to uh, connect the dots within your community. And the pie in the sky dream for me was to uh, to start an LGBT, a brick and mortar center, which Kansas City hadn't had. Um, I wanted to have one back for that community, which is my hometown. All right, we've been showing everybody the uh, oh, process of the Like it. Me Lighthouse. Uh, makes you light up, for sure. Uh. A lot of people attending this weekend. It's a big weekend. People uh, like yourself, Comedian House Sparks, Alan Cumming. I'm going to get to come out there. We're coming to support you because we think it's important to be there and uh, show community what community can be like. But are you worried about funding? You said that there was another place like this within the area that, that ran out of funds that can't be there. How do you hope your business model is going to be different? Well, um, you know, we so far there have been no dollars from Kansas City that have gone into getting this up and running. It's been uh, it's been the generosity of people around the nation that have given to get the Light Me Lighthouse up and running. And now is when we hand it over to Kansas City and they get involved and they, they are showing that excitement. They're going to get on board when, I, when they see it. And as you can see, it's just a bright, open, exciting place that we know LGBT people, not just young people, but old people like you and me. Right. We need it. <laughs> and every, every community needs a place like this where you can go and have meetings and, and uh, go onto the Internet and, and just have a, a, a real place to have a community.